Yes, you. Welcome to the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast, a podcast for people who want to disrupt their lives for a good reason, to make it count. I'm your host, Jen Glantz, and every week I'll drop a new episode with stories from real people just like you who woke up one morning and decided to make big changes, starting with small things. We'll cover topics like entrepreneurship, love, failure, and self-care. Hey, you're not getting any younger, so let's make this an adventure. Ready? Today's episode is brought to you by Jen and Juice Coaching by yours truly. For the past five years, I've worked with over 100 people to help them feel, well, less stuck. Whether you're looking to change careers, start a side hustle, or just get a strategy for your life, head on over to jenglance.com slash coaching and you can find out about my one-hour coaching specials that will help you feel like you can finally cross those things off your to-do list and start whatever kind of project, life change, or dream that you have. Hey, hey, any youngers, it's me, your host, Jen Glantz. Welcome back to another episode of the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast. How in the world are you? What a crazy question to ask. I feel like the answer most people will give is a bit of an eye roll and a bit of a head shake. Who knows how any of us are anymore? Am I right? Well, today I'm here on the show talking to you one-on-one, giving you another challenge to take on. I'm big with these challenges because they help you break habits, create new ones, and of course, do something awesome for yourself and the world. So today's challenge is one I've been thinking a lot about. I don't know about you, but I love getting mail. Like I love getting things in the mail that are not in the American Express bill, or of course, that I owe this month's rent. I love when friends surprise me with letters or cards or small gifts. Like I find it to be so exhilarating. I mean, email has sort of taken that on, but we've just oversaturated email with requests and ugh. I check my email, I get anxiety. I check my mail, my actual mailbox, and I get happy. It was recently my birthday and my plans got a little shaken up. I couldn't go and do what I wanted to do. And the best part of my birthday every year and this year is opening up cards from people. I save these cards for life. It just means a lot to me. Like I don't even want gifts. I just want cards. So that was amazing. And then after my birthday, what I did because I recently cleaned out my apartment and I found this box of blank cards that I ordered, like completely generic blank cards, is I pulled out a handful of them and I wrote messages to people and I mailed them, basically just saying, hey, how are you? And these are people that I text every day. I know what's going on in their life, but I just sent them a little love letter to open up in the mail. So my challenge for you this week is, can you mail three people three things? Maybe it's as simple and as easy and free as a letter, a handwritten letter. Maybe there are people you can mistake mysteriously and anonymously mail a good book that they would love. Maybe for other people, you mail them a little fun thing from Amazon or another online store, whatever it is. But think about the the effect of putting something in the mail for three people as a surprise. You will lighten up their life. They will be so happy. And if you want that back, maybe you do a little fun thing with your friends, sort of like the Sisterhood of Traveling Pants, but not really because germs and also... That movie is so unrealistic. But anyway, maybe you get together with a group of friends and you become pen pals for the next month. Like once a month, all of you send a letter or a postcard to each other. A challenge as simple as that is something any of us can do to bring joy into this world and into each other's lives. Also, if you know anyone who's going through a tough time, maybe just send them an I'm thinking of you card. Very short, very sweet. You don't have to be a writer. But anything like that reminds them that people care about them. Maybe you know someone who's been working a ton during this difficult time. Maybe you know people who've been laid off during this difficult time and you don't know what to say or what to do. Sticking something in the mail can be so valuable. So that's my challenge to you. Pick three people and mail them something. All right. Let me know how it goes. Come hang out in the You're Not Getting Any Younger Facebook group. Let us know what you did, what you mailed. Give us some inspo. Give us some advice. Feel free to reach base with me. Ugh, that doesn't make sense. Feel free to touch base with me on email, jenglance at gmail.com. Of course, I would love things from you in the mail, but if I gave my 
address on this podcast, I would feel so weirded out. I don't know if I'd be able to sleep for the rest of my life. Not that I don't trust you, dear listener, but you never know who's listening to this. Sometimes I get weirded out and people have my phone number and I don't even know how they got that. So I'm going to save my address privately for me. But if you want to mail me a letter or you want me to mail you a letter, hit me up through email, jenglance at gmail.com and I'll see what I can do. All my love, Jen Glance. Hey you, thank you for listening to the You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast. There are hundreds of thousands of pods out there, so thank you for listening to this one. You can find the show notes for this week's episode up on our website, anyyounger.com. Subscribe, rate, and review that You're Not Getting Any Younger podcast on iTunes so that other ears around the world can listen to. Oh, and join our secret You're Not Getting Any Younger Facebook group where over 1,000 people are talking about how to disrupt their lives for a good reason, to make it count. Until next week, all my love, Jen Glantz.